The 40 Phone FON 480 is a simple to use and incredibly powerful IP based phone with a wide array of features conference calling, voicemail, peer dialing, call history, and far more that we can cover in this short video. And for this demo, we'll simply provide a brief overview of the 480 and how to use it to best suit your day to day needs. So let's get started with outgoing calls. Aside from the obvious method of simply picking up the handset and using your dial pad, you could place an outgoing call to an entry within your call history by pressing the history soft key, selecting the entry to call, and then pressing the dial soft key. Maybe you want to go hands-free, so you select the speaker button. Or maybe you want to use that new Bluetooth headset, so you select the headset button. All right, so now let's take a look at the various ways that your phone can be used to answer and forward incoming calls. When your phone receives an incoming call, the screen displays the caller's information. Now to answer that incoming call, which hopefully isn't a telemarketer, you have a few options. You can answer by simply picking up the handset. You could press the speaker button to answer with the speaker phone. Or you could press the headset button to answer with a connected headset or Bluetooth headset. Alternatively, you can also press the answer soft key, which will answer the call using either the headset or the speaker phone, depending on how the phone has been configured. But what if you get a call from the person you don't want to talk to? Well, you can press the ignore soft key, which stops the call from ringing, but still allows the phone to be answered. You may also press the decline soft key to have the caller follow the call handling settings of the phone as configured on the 40 voice. Now what if you're super busy and you don't have time to talk to the individual who just called? After answering, just press the hold soft key or the hold button. The hold icon displays on screen to let you know the status of the call. And when you're ready to talk, just press the resume soft key again. Calls can be put on hold within the 40 voice and picked up by any other extension. This is called parking. Let's take a look at how parking calls works on the 40 phone. There are two ways to park an active call with your phone. The first is to dial star 40 while on an active call. The caller is placed in the first available park slot. The second way is to have the 40 voice administrator program auto park to one of your programmable keys. When on an active call, press the auto park programmable key. The caller will be put into the first available park slot and you will hear a prompt telling you which park slot the call is in. You can retrieve those park calls by dialing the desired park slot and pressing the dial key. Or you can have the 40 voice administrator program park appearance to one of your programmable keys. As seen here when the administrator has programmed park slot 301. When a call has been parked in slot 301, the LED of the programmable key will flash yellow. Press the park slot programmable key to be connected with that call. Now let's have a look at how to transfer calls. There are two types, attendant transfers and blind transfers. An attendant transfer allows you to first speak with the party you are transferring the call to. Just press the transfer soft key or the transfer button. Next, dial the party you would like to transfer the call and press the dial soft key. When they accept, press the transfer soft key or transfer button again. A blind transfer directly transfers the call to the desired party without speaking to the caller first. To perform a blind transfer, press the transfer soft key or transfer button. Next, dial the party to transfer the call to and press the transfer soft key or transfer button again to complete the process. What if you want to speak to multiple people at the same time? Your phone allows for three-way conference calling. When on an active call, just press the conference soft key or the conference button. And then dial the party you would like to conference and then press the dial soft key. Once the party has answered, press the conference soft key or conference button to conference the lines together. Now let's take a look at the key features of your phone and what the LED lights mean. The programmable keys located on the side of the screen can be configured to display the status of certain extensions or lines by using the LED lights built into each programmable key. When the LED is solid green, the extension or line is idle and available to take calls. When it's flashing green, there is an incoming call. When it's a solid red, the extension or line is on a call. When flashing yellow, the extension or line has a call on hold. And when it's a solid yellow, the extension has enabled do not disturb mode. Now let's take a look at voicemail. When your phone receives a new voicemail, the message waiting indicator flashes and a notification icon displays on screen, indicating the number of new voice messages. You can check these by pressing the voicemail button. You'll need to enter your voicemail pin and then select the OK button. On the next screen, you'll see your voicemail messages. The tabs at the top of the screen are the individual voicemail folders, which can be accessed by using the left and right navigation buttons. 
use the up and down navigation buttons to select a voicemail message and then select the play soft key to listen to the message. You can press the delete soft key at any time to remove the selected voicemail message. If you would like to return a call from a voicemail, press the more soft key and select dial. Hopefully you now have a good understanding of how to use the 40 phone FON 480 and what it can do for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.